Thank you for tuning in to RadicCards.com. I'm your host, Patrick Greeno. This is my uh, familiar guest host, uh, Mr. Dan G. How's it going? Hey, Dan, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, how you been? Uh, well, you know, working. Okay. Looking at a lot of cards online. Good. Trending. Awesome. Figure out what the next big purchase is going to be. Right? Yeah. Never ends. Dan, what'd you bring for us today? Uh, so I brought something that I pulled the year that this product came out. Uh, it's a 2002 SP Authentic um, Tiger Woods uh, golf card with a piece of his golf glove in it. So nice. it's a memorabilia card. Um, it's something that I thought was really cool, you know, and at the time Tiger Woods was hot, like hot. And, uh, you know, it just was cool. You know, I've seen the, the pieces with, you know, the shirts. And I've seen the pieces, you know, that have, like, I guess they're like hats or, or something. Because you know, mm -hmm. there's little logos. But I hadn't seen really any that were the golfing glove. So, uh, you know, there's not a lot out there. And it's just kind of a cool, fun piece. When did it come out? 2002. Is this a tough card to pull? Uh, from what I understand, it's... It it is, yeah. But I don't I don't really know for sure. Right. I just really thought it was a cool card and you know kind of stashed it away in the personal collection. Was it one you'd specifically looked for when you? No, you know, no, no clue it even existed really? until I opened the pack and boom, there's Tiger. Okay. Is it? Did, did you look at resale values on it? No, okay. no. Uh, I've had a couple people offer me about two hundred dollars in the past, 200? 200, 250 depending on the timing, mm. and uh, I've always declined. Okay. Okay. So is I that have, recent? Are those recent uh, inqu inquiries? I would say within the, the last decade. And I mean, his popularity has gone down. Sure. Since his performance has gone down, but um, you know, he's still, you know, an icon in in the golf world. That's still a strong card to have. Yeah, for sure. Nice man. Good stuff. I'm glad you brought a golf card. We rarely showcase stuff outside of the big four, but I'm glad that this is something with, that is you know a participant right. in the market. Certainly, Tiger Woods has still a, a, a large uh, following, um, despite his, um, I guess, hindered personal brand right. over the last, I guess, five years. But um, still, one of the golf greats. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. and you know, uh, I think everybody genuinely wants him to to be better. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of people that root for him, and mm -hmm. you know, uh, as of recent, he's turned up a little bit. So nice. We'll see. Now, are you also looking into getting other um, Tiger Woods cards like this style? So I haven't actively been seeking them for a while, okay. just because they reached a point where the cost was outrageous. Okay. You know, autographs went from three hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars. Really? Like, stuff was was crazy. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, I don't really hunt them down. Um, you know, his two thousand and one Upper Deck rookie, I probably have. 40 of them. Yeah, you know, that's like, a common card. Yeah, that's pretty common. I think they like quadruple printed that. Yeah. Um, you know, never got the SP Authentic. I think if it was at the right price, I might. That's the big try one, though, right? Up. Yeah. 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 He also has the uh, SP Authentic Preview, which is the X serial number. Okay. So I think that one's probably a little bit better than the uh, 01 Upper Deck, just the standard one. Um, and you know, not as common for sure. Sure. Um, but you know, yeah, I don't, I don't usually go out and, and pick up this stuff. I mean, if it's if it's a good deal, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you, you you might as well grab it, right? Sure. So I, mean, I, I guess golf hall of fame. Oh, know? for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, so. he's got to be in the top five, right. you know, arguably one of the most influential. Yeah. Of of all time. So. Yeah, a legend in, in, in his era. Yeah. You know? Good stuff, man. I'm glad you brought that along. Sure thing. Let me show the back real quick. Yeah, yeah. Just because. Give it a shot there. Totally. Good stuff. So, as you can see, we've got a little different arrangement this time. Uh, we're trying out uh, a stand with some lighting. Uh, just to, so that we don't have to hold the card up against the... You know, to give us a rest so that we can more focus on the, the dialogue. And allow um, you to really enjoy the card as we talk about it. Yeah. Uh, so... I think it's nice. Good stuff, man. Thanks for bringing sure. it. Sure. Uh, we're going to switch over to baseball, and I'm going to talk about a card that I had eyed for a while, and um, just decided to, to, to get it, even though this gentleman has, um, I think he had on surgery recently, Tommy John or something. Uh, so this is 2010 Topps Pro Debut uh, Michael Pineda Red Border. This is the one of one. 
I wanted one Michael Pineda card, and this card fit all the mm -hmm. all the requirements that I have set up for when I acquire a, a rookie card of a player I don't specifically collect. Uh, it's not autographed, mm -hmm. um, doesn't have a piece of game used, not gimmicky like that. It's very basic, standard thickness. Um, so I just look for certain styles of the rookie cards and I look for certain price points. So I've been watching this card for a while and um, I worked a deal with a seller and we closed on it relatively recently um, and I brought this into collection. So I'm good with Michael Pineda. I just wanted one of his cards, one really good one, and this one's perfect. Now, back, I heard about this gentleman back in 2000 and I think 12, uh, right before the National, mm -hmm. and I was shopping at uh, uh, Santa Monica Sports Cards, which is no longer business, but I used to go over there and, and, and hang out on the weekends and get cards and stuff and talk to the guy that worked behind the counter. And uh, Pineda was an up-and-coming prospect. Uh, you know, he had, he, had, he had been featured in the 2009 Bowman products, uh, 2010 tops, obviously, and then his rookie year cards came out in 2011, uh, which are available. And his his uh, popularity has obviously gone down quite a bit. He's recently been traded to the uh, Minnesota Twins, okay. uh, so he's on contract with them, I believe, for a year. And so we'll see him playing in 2018. I hope he does well uh, because he's been out for a little while with surgery recovery. Uh, but he was, he's, you know, he had some pretty dominant uh, experiences on the mound. But pitching is just. You know, outside of catching, I think those are the two most difficult positions right. um, to, to be in in baseball. And uh, Pineda was you know, an up-and-coming pitcher. He's an interesting guy. He always wore his hat slightly to the side. I always thought that was very <laughs> punk rock, you know, like when, when pitchers can get away with that. And he's one of those guys that, that's been able to do that with style. I've always liked that about Michael Pineda. I don't know much about him, um, but I did because I found out about him in 2012. I felt like, you know... Since I got this new project going, I wanted to get one of his uh, better rookie cards in the collection, and you know um, his stuff's very affordable. Right. So I was really happy to get this card into the collection, and it's it's in my to be graded stack. Although I don't know when that will happen. <laughs> you know, I always just have this 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 cards that I just eventually will get graded, and I'm, I'll send this in at some point. I think it'd be it'd look really nice in a slab. So. Um, do you know much about Michael? Pineda? I don't. Okay, Sorry. you heard about him though, right? Yes, I have heard. Yeah. Name. So it came up with the Seattle Mariners. That's that was his uh, entry team. So uh, really cool stuff. I'm glad to pick this up. It's a cool card. I never bought any 2010 um, Topps Pro Debut. The Mike Trout card is the one that people chase right. in that product. Very good card to have. Um, but 2010 obviously is, is one of my favorite years in collecting the modern stuff. And so this is a perfect fit. And I love the colors on this card. You got green and red. It's very very ho ho like holiday, a Christmassy right. kind of thing, but it's not intended that way, obviously. I just really like the colors. They're a fantastic. nightmare for your colorblind, though. <laughs> <laughs> right? So here's the back of the card. It's really cool. You know, I like that Topps did this release with Pro Debut because they feature a lot of the minor league teams. Right. So I'm able to get used to these t team names. Mm -hmm. You know, I, 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 when the I product first came out, I was like, well, what is this? This looks just like the normal tops. I didn't realize they had a separate product for these minor league right. players. I thought it was really cool. Really good for us prospectors. If you're into the prospecting thing, this is a great product to pick up. I really dig the tops um, minor league stuff. So um, this is the 2010 Topps Pro Debut Red Border. One of one, Michael Pineda. Rookie card, although he has cards in 20, 2009 Bowman. Mm -hmm. And his rookie year was 2011, so technically this is a prospect card. Um, but I, I just really think it's a cool card to have. Cool. Do any of you final thoughts? No, I'm good. All right, that covers it. Thank you for tuning in to RadiCards.com. And um, I'm your host, Patrick. Thank you, Dan, for sitting with me. Sure. I appreciate it. And until next time, enjoy collecting. Take care. If you like this content, please subscribe. Thank you. Enjoy collecting. <laughs>